Vidi, you want to get us going? Hey, Traylon. Yeah, I was uh, I was curious. Your weight's down just a little bit to 225. Is that something that you had planned to do, or, um, or is it just not even something you're paying attention to? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, like, uh, but when we, when Coach uh, when Coach Guyton had got here, you know, we had talked about my weight, and uh, he said that he at least wanted me down to like 225. And I weighed in today, and I was at 223. So we're getting that down a lot. Gotcha. I wouldn't mess with you too much, but <laughs> that's my opinion. But uh, how do you think the spring has gone for you so far, and, and what are you looking forward to in the scrimmage Saturday? Um, I mean, it's going pretty good for the, all of us. You know, um, I thank my teammates for, uh, you know, pushing me better. You know, I've uh, come a long way since last spring due to COVID, and um, I feel like that my body has changed tremendously, and um, I just thank my teammates for pushing me every day to get to where I'm at right now. Thank you. Nate? Just as far as, was there any rust in the practice today being off for a week? Was was it hard to get back in it? Oh, no, sir. You know, we um, we came in, we attacked it. You know, I, honestly, I felt like this was one of the one of the best practices we've had since spring start, spring ball started. So I felt like it was a good practice for all of us. Also, uh, Sam's made a big deal about having a crowd at, at the scrimmages. Does that really make a difference? I mean, do you feel more pressure or more, you know, just more game atmosphere with fans there? Um, honestly, I feel like to us, you know, having the fans there just makes it, just put us a little more on edge, you know, just to go out there and do what we were coached to do. And I feel like that is it's good for us just to know that we got fans that will come out and just support us while, we, while we're just practicing, you know. So that's always good to have those. Thank you. Yes, sir. Tom. Yeah, Trent, I was going to follow up on your remark just then. It was one of the best practices so far. What made it so good? Uh, you know, we just we came out, we executed, you know, the defense, you know, uh, pushed us and the offense pushed the defense. You know, we we went out and we competed with each other, got each other better. And I just felt like it was a all around well practice. All right. Greg Brooks was on here with us last Tuesday, right before y'all went to break, saying that the defense won seven out of eight on third downs and things like that. So uh, I'm wondering, not that you haven't had time to correct yet, but um, your thoughts about those kinds of things going into the scrimmage? Uh, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really don't. I really don't think about stuff like that. You know, I just go out and, well, on the offensive side, we just go out. You know, we just do what Coach Browse coaches us to do, and you know, we just let the we just let the heavy statistics stay with that, and you know, just go out and just practice. Scotty. Hey, Traylon, uh, what have been some focuses for you individually this spring and how much headway do you feel like you've made there? Um, honestly, uh, getting faster, you know, getting my body weight down, toning my body up and, uh, you know, just, you know, prepping myself just to be a better player than I was last year and uh, correct, uh, correcting, the, you know, the, the small things, you know, that would make me great. So those have been things like that, honestly. And then who's making plays on, on offense? Is it like the usual suspects or there's some young guys making some space? Um, honestly, I feel like some of the young guys are, you know, they have impressed us older guys a lot, like uh, Keytron, um, Jaden, Wilson, um, you know, Chris. Um, the, we got we have a, a walk-on named Chris uh, from uh, Dumas, Arkansas. He's impressing us. Uh, Carson Gardner is stepping up. Uh, Harper Cole, J.D. White, you know, everybody in that receiver room is stepping up. And then also the quarterbacks, you know, they're, they're, they're showing it, they're showing the uh, competition, you know, and that's, and that's always good to see. All right, let me know if you've got more questions for Traylon in the chat. Trey Biddy. Yeah, Traylon, I was wondering if you could go into a little bit more detail about Keytron and, and Jaden specifically, just the two freshmen. What have you seen from them and, you know, what 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 kind of impact do you think they could have? What do they need to improve on? Um, well, uh, honestly, for the those two, you know, they uh they come out and they practice hard every day. You know, they get better, and it's just being that that they still have that little freshman edge, you know, and it's it's slowly getting better. And um, I just think if they just you know keep coming out and us older us older guys, you know, stay on them, I think they'll be all right and contribute a lot to this team this year. About Raheem Sanders, he's not a wide receiver anymore. I guess he was with you guys, but he's at running back. But I think a lot of people kind of see maybe him as, you know, kind of similar to you in, in size and everything like that. What, do you, what are your thoughts on him? 
Oh, I like I like I like him a lot. You know, Raheem, he's 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 real good. You know, he comes in, he works hard every day. You know, he doesn't talk back. You know, you know he has a bad play. He messes. I, I've always told him, you know, if he if he doesn't know the play, you know, mess up a hundred percent, going a hundred percent every time. You know, and I think he's brought on to that, and I think he's gonna be a pretty good player for us. You personally, you still working pretty much in the slot, or you, you move around, or? Uh, you know, I mean, Coach Browns really don't want me to say, but yeah, you know, just it's it's we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks. Last one, Tom. Yeah, Traylon, I wanted to get your thoughts on on KJ, his leadership, like what what he's like in the huddle. Have you seen any you know subtle changes in him now that he's running with the ones? Uh, yeah, you know, KJ, he stepped up a lot. You know, obviously he's that's my you know that's one of my best friends. You know, we grew up um, freshmen together, dorm room, all that, lived together, and I think that he's actually just bought in and uh, you know put it in his head that, you know, I, I got a job. I need to do this job. I'm the leader of this offense. You know, I need to run it the way it's so, supposed to be ran. And I think he's bought into that and he's doing a great job. All right. Hey, um, what, what about a crowd? What did you think of the crowd at the last scrimmage? And, you know, do you think uh, any Warren folks are, are going to come all the way up? Uh, to this one? <laughs> um, yeah. I, I mean, obviously I, I love the crowd that we had last scrimmage and I hope, I hope we have more, you know, maybe fill up the whole stadium, <laughs> but, um, uh, hopefully some more people will come up, but, you know, it's just always good just to have people that comes out and support you. Thank you. Thank you. All. Thanks, Traylon.